Hi guys, it's me, Indiana Jones, and I'm trying a new lighting technique, which is basically turning off all the lights, except for the circle light, because I always feel like I look really, really, really pale. Yes, I am really, really pale, <clears throat> and I've gotten paler since I've been inside all this time, but first of all, I want to say welcome, welcome to my channel. Hey, Leah's here, yay. We have a little family that shows up here every night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, because I call it cabin fever crafting. Because since the pandemic started, I'm going live every night, believe it or not. I don't think I've seen any other channel do it. I'm not bragging about it, but yeah, I am. So, how is everybody? First of all, hope you're all doing well. If you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. How did you find me? By the way, if you're part of like the first, these, I, Leah, I have to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me co-host. Do you realize that I got like 50 new subbies? like overnight that's amazing i have been like commenting and commenting and i i watched everybody i don't know if anybody's added to our playlist i have to check our playlist but i've been like watching and and just like i love so many creative women so many creative women i wish there were more crafty men we need okay stop i don't want to listen to myself i wish there were more crafty men so does the lighting look okay yay how about you leah um <clears throat> Does the lighting look okay? Do I still look pale? See, on my phone, I look fabulous. Fabulous. And then I have to explain this shirt. I'm going to be doing this to my shirt all the time. Two more added. Good girl. Good girl. Um, so this shirt, actually, I'm wearing it backwards. This is the back of it, which I don't understand because the front of it is plain. And then this lovely decolletage, decolletage, whatever it's called, decolletage, is in the back, and I don't get it. Do I need to wipe my camera? Is it like, I always do this when I start. There we go. There we go. Maybe that looks better. That look better? Yeah, it looks better. Okay, cool. So what are we gonna do today? I don't know. I want a fall cake. I'm like, <gasps> I love the fall. And it's been rainy and cloudy and meh all night. Not all meh. I love rainy, cloudy nights. So I decided, let me use this. I decided, you know what everybody loves is mason jars. You know what else everybody else, everybody loves? Fall. So what if we were to do mason jars in fall together? Win-win, win-win people. So I have two jars and they were probably like, I don't know, I don't know, pickle or something like that. I'm doing well. How are you, Jack? How are you, Rosalie? How is everybody doing? So I have these two lovely little jars and they're probably like a pickle jar and like a sauce jar or something. I don't throw away jars. So I just have them here. And let's see, so I have paint and, and I thought let's start with something easy. Let's do decoupage, decoupage. And I have this scarf from last year from the Dollar Tree. And look, see how see-through it is? It's very see-through. So I thought, look how cool this would look. So let's let's do it. Let's decoupage a jar. Let's decoupage a jar. Let's take this off of the bottom. Let's just cut this up and let's get this. You are doing fine. That is good to hear. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. You think this will turn out okay? Have you ever decoupaged with a scarf? Probably not. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody that can punch with a scarf. Let me do this side. I'm always nervous when I'm about to start. I always feel like I'm going to screw things up. Oh, let me show you, by the way. Look how cute. Remember that last little thing that I had and I said, oh, I wish I had the frosting. Look how cute it came out. It's so cute. So this is, this is um, what is that called? Grout or whatever? So yeah, that's kitchen grout. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. I have it here. Oh my goodies here. Right back down. I tried to make it a little fallish. So, all right, so I'm gonna cut this. Just get started, Andy. Get started, it's already, what, four minutes? Okay, let's get started. Let's take this off, and as you can see, it's a pumpkin thing. So I was like, I'm gonna keep that on there because it makes sense. So, let's decoupage this thing. Let us do this. I've never decoupaged with fabric. Not like this. I've de I don't know. Have I ever decoupaged with fabric? I don't think I have. I don't think I have. All right. 
I might want to take a little more off because I just want this to overlap by a little bit and I have too much here. So, there we go. You did a pumpkin last year with this fabric? Yes, I've done that. I've done that. All right, let's get started. Some goop goopies. I got some goopies. Oh, got a goopy. Alright. How are you all doing? You did it on a plastic pumpkin? Yes. I've done, I've done that with this fabric. I've done that with the plastic pumpkin as well. I am hoping, hoping, hoping this year that, um, cause I didn't see it in my Dollar Tree, but I saw, I, I get so jealous when I see other people doing Dollar Tree stuff and I see the stuff that they get from Dollar Tree. I'm like, my Dollar Tree doesn't have that. Like they had this, but in the white and black. I never saw it in the white and black. Oh, by the way, I have to tell you, it's so funny. Leah, somebody called me a super crafter. So I want, to, I want to consider myself a super crafter and I have like special super crafting abilities. And I said something like on her channel, I said something I'm like, you know, able to come up with crafting ideas, you know, faster than a glue gun or something like that. I don't know, but I thought that was fun. I was considered a super crafter by, by one of your subbies who's now one of my subbies. We got subbies, everybody's got... So, a new title, yes, a new title. All right, so I'm going to use this edging right here to make sure that I edge it on the top so it looks nice and well done. Well done, like that. Look at this, look at this, how easy. This is an Annie craft because it's easy. It's foolproof. You gotta be a fool to mess this up. You still can. Not saying you can't. I'm trying to make it straight, straight as possible. I mean, it is a roundish thing. Still overlaps a little. I don't want it to overlap too, too much. Cause and then it's gonna darken the, cause I want to put tea lights in here. Now, now it's perfect. Okay. Ah, I hate it when it just goops out like that. even seam. Look at that. Look at that. Hi, Terry Ann. This and that. That's so funny. <laughs> How are you? Yes, you were. Terry Ann was the one that gave me the title of super crafter and I love it. If I get to wear it, I'm going to make myself a super crafter costume. By the way, oh my gosh, my sewing machine broke. Ah. Is Becky here? Is Becky? Hi, Becky. Becky's here. I got into like doing this correctly that I didn't look at you people. But Terry Ann, welcome. You are so awesome. And they're giving me that name. Like I've always wanted. I want a superhero theme. I want a crown. I get to wear a tiara just like just like Wonder Woman. Yes. I've given, I'm going to make myself a crafting tiara. <laughs> Speaking of which, you know what I don't have? I was looking around. It's like, I don't have a fall headband. How is it that I, lover of all things fall, autumn, autumnal, of all of those things, I don't have a fall headband. I need to have a fall headband, something to stick on my head. I had a lazy day too, raining out. I know it's raining here too. That's why I was thinking of the fall because usually it's like, it always rains here on Halloween or near Halloween. 
I am so happy doing Halloween. And the other thing I was thinking of is like, why do I have to do summer crafts? I don't like summer. I am like boycotting summer. I just don't like summer. I live in Miami, people. We live summer all year long. I don't go to the beach. It was so funny. I told my son, you know what? The beaches are open. And he goes, and what does that mean to us? I'm like, yep, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, now we're going to fold this in. Fold in the cheese. Who's watching Shit's Creek? I love that. Fold in the cheese. I know the collaboration, my gosh, the most adorable videos. I love all the videos. They are the most creative, crafty, amazing people on there. I mean, I was watching one. Now I can't remember her name. Somebody made one with, um, like, I can't remember now. There were so many. Have we had any new ones? Hi, Sandy McKenzie. Hi, how are you, Sandy McKenzie? You know, I love that because you remind me of Mackenzie Childs, not Mackenzie Phillips. I always want to say Mackenzie Phillips. I'm trying to leave the seam out. This is very messy. This is very messy, but I'm trying to make this go to the bottom here. Oh my gosh, it is raining a storm. Raining, 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 raining a little storm outside. It's not storming, but it's just it's raining. Constant rain. Ooh, my hands are a mess. Okay. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody decoupage with the fabric like this before. Hello, Deborah. I love that when my son called you Deborah. I love my little, I love all my little family friends here. We have a nice little family. Everybody's so nice. All right. I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm going to put some more. I just want to get it around the, the neck. I am such a messy crafter. Ah, I am such a messy crafter. Why am I such a messy crafter? I'm so disorganized. I'm messy. And I don't have water here. All right, let's do this. I'll fix that in a while. I'll fix that there, there. Okay. So with all things decoupage, you have to put a nice little layer on top as well. This is so cute. It's coming out so cute. Yes, yeah, so one of the things of, one of the superpowers I have is I can make it whatever season I want. That's one of my superpowers. So by gum, if I wanted to make, make Halloween and fall stuff in June, I will do it. It's not just Christmas in July, people. Even though we start crafting for fall in, in August, we all know that. It's like August 1st. Jeez, we all start crafting for fall. I know you guys. I've seen you guys. I love that name, Terry Ann. Well, Ann is my name. <laughs> Who else is here? I am the messiest, right? I, you know what, but this is the thing. You know, when you're a creative cook, you just, you're messy. When you're a creative crafter, you're messy. I didn't say anything else about that, but you know what I mean. Fun things are messy. Ice cream is messy. Finger painting. You know, playing in the mud. Oh, that's messy. Why won't this stick? Stick, stick, stick. Stick, stick, stick. I'm trying to get this to stick down. It won't stick. All right. Well, you get the gist of it. See how cute! Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so even though it's not dry, we're gonna go move forward. And I thought it would be cute. There's my cup. I thought it would be cute. I either rope, I have this rope. Rope or twine or this stuff. What is this stuff called? What is it? Raffia. Raffia. I'm compiling a sh shout out video for everyone to join the call up. A few more people had said they were adding videos, so I'll wait a day or two. Cool. 
So what do we do? Raffia! Raffia! Raffia, Raffia, Raffia! All right. Okay, this is only jar number one. We're gonna do two jars, because that's all the jars I can find. I can find more jars. Really? I should have known. Raffia is incredibly messy, people. I forgot. I don't know how to pull. How do you pull Raffia apart? What is this? Okay, like that. <sighs> what? I don't know. I watch other people. You know who I watch is like Olivia. Okay, we're going to do shout outs to other, other channels that we watch. So I love watching Olivia's Romantic Home, but oh my gosh, she's so neat. Like, I don't see her making a mess, and she's got like her perfectly manicured nails and stuff. Love her, love her, love her, love her. I'm going to have to glue that with a glue gun on the bottom. Okay, we do this, this, that, hi Lizzie Snowbright, I have yet to meet a, a, a nasty crafter, can you imagine if that was the name of somebody's channel, the nasty crafter? They're just in a bad mood while they're crafting. I don't think it would do very well. There we have it. Oh, this stupid thing. I'm just going to cut this cut this off because this is not behaving. Just stop. Stop it. I'm just going to cut you off. Cut you off because you are not behaving. And then I'll glue you down with a glue gun. You know, they have decoupage. Oh, and I forgot to say it. What am I using? Mod Podge. Now, they have a Mod Podge that actually works with fabric, and that's shaking. It's driving me pe people crazy. It's driving me crazy. They have a Mod Podge that works with, um, what you call it? With fabric. So, yeah. So, I should have gotten that Mod Podge, but I didn't have that Mod Podge. I have this Mod Podge. But Mod Podge is part of the Plaid family of products. And you know what? I just realized, I don't know if I turned off my notifications, and I bet you anything, bet you anything, somebody's going to try to call me, like my mom. Mm, there we go. <sighs> you have fabric Mod Podge. You do? Well, look at you. Well, I have Mod Podge Ultra. You know that's what I should have used is Mod Podge Ultra. I'll do that afterwards. But there you go. We'll hold it like that so we pretend that it's perfect. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. I was going to use, and then you can use like, like one of these little taggy, taggy doodles. Holy crap, that's a big tag. I didn't realize how big it was. Nope, I'll use, I'll use a small, I have smaller tags, I have smaller wooden tags. So this is what it would look like once you're done. It's cute, let's move on. <laughs> it's cute, let's move on. Let's not get attached to it. Now for this one, look at this big one. This is a big doozy. I thought it would be cool to use one of these doodads. Should I use a pumpkin? What do you think? If we had a cutout, should I use a pumpkin or should I use a leaf? You can't see it. Oh, compliments of plaid brand products. Well, aren't you special? I know you're, you're an ambassador as well. We're both ambassadors. Ambassadoresses, whatever you want to call it. So you like the leaf or the pumpkin? Leaf, leaf. See, you guys are in control. So what are we gonna do? We are going to need, and buy them, I better have it here because I know I put it here. There it is, tape. I thought all Mod Podge works for fabric. Yeah, it usually does. I've always used the regular Mod Podge. Leaf, leaf, we're all using leaf. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I got some, what is this called? Parchment paper. And I got some tape, and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put some tape, I find the beginning of it, on the, on the, because I'm gonna make a sticker, because I don't have a leaf sticker, but I want the leaf. Hey, Kate Crazy, how are you doing? So I'm going to make a leaf sticker. Be neat, Annie, be neat, come on. Do we notice any difference in the lighting? I mean, it looks richer when I look at the camera, 
But I don't see a difference on mine. I don't know. And then just let it overlap a little. So when you pull it off, put that over there, put that over here. Is that big enough? Just to make sure it's big enough. Okay, one more tape. One more tape at the tippy 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 top. At the tippy top right there. The lighting looks great. Okay, awesome. Because my son's like, you know, you got to check your lighting. I'm like, well, maybe if my son who's studying film would help me. All right, here we go. I'm just going to. Da, 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 da. Am I crazy doing fall in, in June? I don't like, you know, the beachy theme or any of that stuff. I don't like it. I live near the beach. I have to say I did go to the beach the other day. But I went like at 6.30 in the morning when there's no sunlight. I look like Morticia Adams when I go to the beach. I cover up so much. I look like some goth on the beach. All right. Now we're going to cut it out. Oh, 20 minutes. Oh, Hocus Pocus 2 jar would look. Okay, I gotta make that now. I gotta make a Hocus Pocus jar. You know how much I love Hocus Pocus. I was just watching Hocus Pocus, believe it or not. I was watching uh, uh, I Put a Spell on You. I love that. That was the most fun I ever had making like a costume was making the Winifred Sanderson costume. I don't know why I had so much fun. It was those mad crazy sleeves. Oh, I love doing that. I am so upset. My sewing machine is broken, so I have to go up to Boca Raton. I gotta go up to Boca and get it fixed because it's a brother and I don't trust my, because everybody here fixes singers in Miami, but not brothers. So I have to go to a licensed brother repair shop because it's computerized and they'll mess it up because they almost did that the other day they're like where's the foot pedal i'm like oh no you don't even know this this machine doesn't need a foot pedal forget it i'm out of here i can barely see what i'm doing here because <laughs> there's no lights it's only the light here did the sewing machine eat the satin fabric Yes, it did. It ate all. What about doing an Independence Day of Canada Day craft? Hey, Jonathan Rodriguez. How are you? Are you? Jonathan Rodriguez is adorable. He's so handsome. Okay. Sorry, you're like my Facebook film crush, and he's a local film actor here in Miami. Very cool. It's been hard on the actors here in Miami because, you know, all the production stopped abruptly. So, yeah, it's been tough, but he's been busy. I am so glad you're on my channel tonight, Jonathan. All right. So what's a Canada Day craft? Is that like just like what I'm doing with a maple leaf right now? Probably. All right. Look at that. Look at that. We got our own little maple leaf sticker. I know it's a little dirty, but we're going to paint it over anyway. Who cares? I'm gonna paint over it anyway. So this is pretty clean. Not so bad. Ah, everybody's saying hi to Jonathan. They're all checking out his channel. They're like, oh yeah, he's cute. Yes, the sewing machine ate the satin. Better yet, it's ate all the um the little threads. Oh come on, why aren't you coming off? Come on. It ate all the little threads, and then my little threader thing broke. It's just a mess. I have to take it in to Boca. Boca's like an hour from me, an hour away from me. Look at that, how beautiful. So perfect. So then we're going to put it right here. And then we're going to paint it. Now, this is interactive crafting. Look at that, how pretty. It looks pretty just like that. All right. Ready? Let's do this. Where's my cup? 
Oh my god, fell down. My cup is my cup is oh there goes my butt. Sorry about my butt. <laughs> Alright, now you guys get to choose. Are we going to use this like russet orange red or are we going to use like this this farmhouse? Orange farmhouse. Orange farmhouse. You have your mom's old sewing machine from the 50s. Would love to get it up and running. Oh, there you go. You should. Nobody's picking a collar. No one's picking a collar. Orange. Orange it is. Orange you glad. Now what I'm going to do to this, I'm going to add a little bit of... Yeah, I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to use another brush, but that's fine. I'm going to add a little bit of farm. Oh, well, you know what? Oh, I got it open. And it matches my shirt, so if I screw it up, you won't be able to tell. Whoop. All right. I think that's enough. And then I'm going to add a little bit, a little bit of baking soda. Baking, yeah, baking soda. To make it like chalk paint so it'll hold on to the glass. I don't know, I like doing it. And it has, and it gives it a texture. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to splatter it. I'm going to splatter it. That would be nice, Leah. What's nice, Leah? Yes, you should fix your mother's old sewing machine. I actually found my brother's, not, it's not my brother like my brother's, it's a brother's embroidery sewing machine at Goodwill. It was brand new in a box of what should, it looked like a box of plates, but when you opened it, it was a sewing machine. Had all the books unopened, everything. I got it for 25 bucks. And I asked them, why 25 bucks? And they said, oh, because it's missing the pedal. I'm like, it doesn't need a pedal. I didn't tell them that. I didn't tell them that. And I don't care because they sometimes overprice things. So I'm gonna put my little fan here. My little scatterboosh. Ooh, I like this color. I don't have to paint. Why am I singing that now? Because I called my fans. Scaramouche. That's awesome, Annie. I know. I love it when I find really good things at Goodwill. I think I, no, this shirt is actually from Kmart. And again, I'm wearing it backwards because I like the, the embroidery. And it pisses me off that the embroidery is supposed to be the back. There, so you can see what I am doing. Okay, I don't want to cover it too much. And I love using the... And again, I buy these. I have wonderful plaid paints, but I don't like to waste them. This is 50 cents for all of this paint. And I love the color. How is it working with that? You don't need a paddle? And how, how you don't need a paddle? And how do you, because it's electric, you just press a button and it goes dum, 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 all by itself so you don't have to be paddling it. It's just a button. And it embroiders as well. And you can program it to embroider. I haven't gotten to that depth yet. Depth. By the way, have you guys noticed I have a, a lisp? I have a slight lisp. Luke and I both noticed that we both have little lists, but they're kind of cute. I feel like it's kind of sexy. It's a little list. Slight. Not too big. Slight. I really like this color. Thank you for telling me to pick this color. Yeah. 50 cents. Yeah, I get these. are These are mixed match. This is bare. I get them at, at uh, Hop, not Hobby Lobby, Home Depot. All of this paint for 50 cents. It makes sense. It's um, latex. So it's, it's pretty heavy duty. Anything I've painted on it. And the thing is, I do add the baking soda just to give it a little bit of texture. And also, it seems to hold on to like plastics, like non-porous products much better. I love the sound of that of paint on glass. All right, now, 
now I want to make around. I'm going to paint over a little more, especially on the edges. You can hear it. Can you hear it? I love that sound with the baking soda and the paint. Cat, I'm not going to let you in now. Oh, Tiger, I should call him Tiger. All right, so now, just left a little bit of paint in here. See? And I usually don't like pouring out my paint because it's wasteful. I would add plaster of Paris to make it into chalk paint. Ah, that is a great deal. Hi, Effie, how are you? I have three sewing machines and they all have paddles. I have one singer and I can use that one, but I'm spoiled now and I want to use this one. So, yeah, they have those like that. So, I'm letting this dry a little bit. Let me add a little more paint up here. Yeah, with the baking soda, I have baking soda all around all the time, so. And it works pretty good because I've used it on plastic. And then, if you can, check out how I did a plastic dollar store um, plant container or plastic pot, flower pot or whatever. And I used this same paint with the, um, any glitter. <laughs> No, I'm not going to add any glitter onto this one. I'm not going to add glitter onto this one. Um, but I used the baking soda, but I, I packed on the baking soda on top, and it looked like aged, like, earthenware. It looks fabulous. So look it up in my, in my channel there. All right. What is this down here? What is this? What is this? All right. Okay, now, now I'm going to take this paint a little bit of it. If I can open it up. If I can't open it. Are you kidding me? Oh. I hate when that happens. I plan to do something and then it doesn't work. I, want, I really wanted to use this one. Oh well. Let's see if I can use this. I don't know if I can use this. I need something a little stiffer. Bang it on the table. That's what he said. <laughs> like that? <gasps> you're magical, Sandy, you're magical. You are magical. Now, usually I have a toothbrush. I forgot to bring my toothbrush, so I'm just gonna use this brush. Bang it on the table. <laughs> Best advice I've ever heard, Sandy. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. Yeah, it's working. Probably getting paint all over my laptop and everything else, but oh well. What we must do for, for art. You know what? I'm just going to dab it on. Dab it on. Dab it like that. Dab it on. Just to give it a little bit of a, an aged look. Like that. Like that? So it's not like totally orange. You see? While I do that, oop, put too much, too much. That's okay. I can do this. Just dab on, dab off. I put too much over there in that corner, but that's okay. It was too heavy-handed. I'm cleaning and listening. Well, I will try to write. <laughs> no, that's what I told him. Oh, Effie, you go, girl. <laughs> Bang it on the table. It's going to be my favorite saying from today. Bang it on the table. And we see that works. That, and I'm a super crafter. I love that. All right. That's cool. I'm happy. 
You happy? I'm happy. You ready for the review? Just got on and missed, missed it. Hi, Linda Lance. How are you doing? All right. Now. Now. For the great reveal. It's like. I should wait to, for it to dry a little more, but I am impatient. Oop, it ripped. No matter, we just keep pulling it off gently. Look at that. It's so pretty. And then we do this. I'm gonna fill it up with these little pine cones. Oh, it looks great. It is beautiful. I'm gonna fill it with pine cones because I have all these miniature pine cones. We might as well use them. Oop. I got paint all over me. Okay, so you can see some of the pine cones, which is what I wanted to do. So pretty. And then you do this. And then you do this. Candle in there. Can I get the candle in there? It's like operation. I got too many pine cones in there. That's okay. Get in there. Oh, come on. <laughs> I see other people do this on Pinterest all the time and it works. All right, just like that. Why are you dimming? Why are you dimming? What happened? There we go. Just gonna put it like that. There you have it. There's one. And then we get the other one. And we're 37 minutes. I always go over and stick that one in there. And there's number two. Look at that. Look how cute that looks. There's the front of it, Annie. Do it right. There. So I, I would put like a little I'll put a little tag here. Isn't that cute? It is so cute. You need a pair of thongs to do that with kitchen thongs. Oh, well, I was, I was thinking of another pair of thongs. But honey, with my butt, every pair of underwear becomes a thong. It's just like, big butt, little under. Anyway, I love this one. This one came out so cute. I'm going to fix it up, but I like the fact that you can see the little pine cones and stuff. You know? <laughs> they have thongs and bang it on the table. I think we're done for today. I love having... <laughs> There's nothing like innuendos to why you're crafting. <laughs> and you women are just absolutely wonderful. I love laughing with you guys. And I don't know, fall just does something to me. I get, I get giddy. I get so giddy with the thought of fall. So, wow, so this is, this is already all stuck together. So this, I'm just gonna fix it down here. I really like this one. I really like this. So I still have the rest of this to come up with other ideas. So I will come up with other ideas for the fall because I love Buffalo Check. Buffalo Check goes around the outside and around the inside. All right, anyway, good night, my friends. Love you all. Wait a second, I gotta see your comments. I'll watch the replay. You're too funny. Oh, thank you. Both turned out great. Good night, everyone. Yes, good night, night, night. Take care. God bless. Stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow night. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow night. Give me an idea. Give me suggestions. Go ahead. Put it down in the comments below. If you see something, you're like, Annie, I challenge you to do this. Go ahead. Find something on Pinterest and say, girl, you need to do this. By the way, find me on Pinterest, Indiana Jones 1. Find me on YouTube. Oh, you're already here. Burr. <laughs> Find me on Facebook. Indiana Jones. What? I'm so nutty. I don't know. Like I told you, it's kidding. I'm going to watch Hocus Pocus and have some beer or something. Good night, guys. God bless. And I'll see you tomorrow night. Cabin Fever Crafting. Another night in a row. Bye. <laughs>